Well, incredibly, I'm still getting a very heated response to my video about the phony Palestinian cause and the rabid anti-Semitism that drives it. Quite a lot of shouty uppercase emails calling me a Zionist shill, a Shabbos Goy, that's a good one, isn't it? And of course, all the usual favourites, Nazi, racist, and so on. You know, it's getting so that if I don't get called a racist now, at least once a day, I begin to worry that I may be doing something wrong. So please, keep it up, folks. You're doing a great job, and this video is just for you. Because predictably, nowhere in this blizzard of spittle-flecked abuse has anybody bothered to address the central point of the video, which is that irrational Islamic Jew hatred is the root cause of the problem in the Middle East, and you would have to be blind or politically constipated, in other words, an Islamized lefty, not to see that or not to want to see it. It's often said, because it's true, that if the Arabs laid down their weapons, there would be peace. If the Jews laid down their weapons, they would be massacred. Because the Arabs, that's the Muslim Arabs, for all you hair splitters out there, don't want peace, they want the Jews dead. They could have their own state by now if they wanted it, they don't want it. They want an end to the Jewish state. And thanks to their religion, the religion of peace, they have the same delusions of manifest destiny in this regard, and the same grisly agenda as Hitler. If they had the wherewithal, they'd commit genocide today. They wouldn't wait until tomorrow. It's not even a secret. Thanks to the internet, we can all now see the kind of stuff that's regularly broadcast on Arab TV, praising the Holocaust and demonising Jews in disgusting ways that would be illegal in any civilised country. We know how much the Arabs hate Jews. They can't stop talking about it. They drum it into their children for all the world to see brainwashing them into becoming suicide bombers. We can see little three-year-olds being taught that Jews are apes and pigs and how glorious it is to be an Islamic martyr and kill yourself to kill Jews. And that's what you support when you support the Palestinians. And you're going to have to live with your conscience. That's if you can find one, because we all know that when operating from the twisted moral perspective of the Islamized political left, having a conscience, or a backbone for that matter, isn't always possible. Like all things Islamic, the Palestinians have long been officially above criticism in the West and the terrorists of Hamas have plenty of friends, especially in places like Norway and Sweden, whose governments and media seem to hate Israel almost as much as they hate their own countries. Although Jew hatred has always been part of European culture, thanks largely to the Catholic Church, Norway and Sweden are now getting serious reputations as almost Islamically anti-Semitic. Now obviously that doesn't apply to everybody in those countries, but it does apply to the governments and the media who control and who slant the information people get, and who do their best to demonise Israel out of all proportion to reality in the minds of the people. And the people? Well, it's a curious thing about the Western world in general. Nobody trusts the media, yet everybody believes what the media tell them. So although I sometimes get the feeling that half the people in the West would almost applaud if Iran were to attack Israel with a nuclear bomb, in in Norway and Sweden, God bless them, they'd probably hold street parties. So it was no surprise to me that these two were among the Western countries who shamefully refused to boycott the recent UN anti-racism hate fest, Durban 3, where some of the world's most vile racists, child murderers, child rapists, slavers, war criminals, terrorist funders and serial human rights violators got together to slander and vilify a genuine democracy where Arabs have more rights than they do in any Arab country, including the ones supposedly living liberated in the so-called Arab Spring, like Libya, where they've announced that their new constitution will be based on Sharia. Sorry girls, no liberation for you. And where, true to form, they've already started torturing and murdering people. Oh, and they've also made it known that Jews, not Israelis, Jews, will not be welcome in the new Libya. Surprise, surprise. Next door in Egypt, where since the revolution, Hundreds of Christians have been murdered in the streets by the army for the crime of not being Muslims. If those wretched people have anything to be grateful for, it's for the fact that they're not Jewish, because if they were, none of them would be left alive. And that's what you support when you support the Palestinians, because it's not about Israel, it's about Jews. In universities all over the Western world, Muslim Brotherhood front groups are allowed to spread their anti-Semitic poison unchecked while anyone defending Israel is shouted down or barred from access altogether because students who've been Islamized don't like free speech. 
Whenever Israel defends itself from terrorism, we see armies of self-righteous left-wing bubbleheads marching through European cities holding banners that read, we are all Hamas now, as if that's something to be proud of. If those banners were honest, they would read, we are all religious hate mongers, racists and murderers now, who put no value on human life because our minds are pickled in a barbaric religion and we are completely insane. Actually, that's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? So maybe the last bit could go on a separate banner or something. Or why not simply cut to the chase and put death to Jews? Because that's what you support when you support the Palestinians. You are being used as a hand puppet by the Muslim Brotherhood because you've chosen to believe the lie of the apartheid state without bothering to examine the evidence. You've bought a propaganda campaign Goebbels would have been proud of, and what you're actually doing is supporting an Islamic war of extermination against Jews. Jews. And if you measure yourself by the same stringent standards that you left-wing hypocrites love to apply to others, then it follows that you are a racist with blood on your hands. No offence. Peace? Yeah, that'll be the day.